Now that we have our GUI and the script for our GUI firmly in place, it is actually time to get hurt. That's of course figuratively speaking. Let's see what's uh, going on. If our turret is shooting at us, he has a forward direction of what he's looking into. So this is the Z direction or your transform dot forward. Okay? Now our player may or may not be in the range that he is getting hit. So what we need to do is we need to know the forward direction of our turret and then we need to know relative to our forward direction how off our player is based in degrees of angles and then if that is a small angle for example 10 degrees then we basically can get hit okay so let's open up our turret control script here let's go to the part where our update function rotates the turret and can attack is true and our target is set so in here it's rotating now we can simply check if the rotation is far enough to basically get hit. Now to do this we need to define two variables. First of all we need to know the forward direction that our turret is facing in. So that is var forward and that is our transform dot forward. Okay that's really easy. Unity just gives us a transform dot forward and that accesses the direction he is looking into. Next we need to know the target direction and to do this we know the position of our target subtract from that the position of the turret so now we have two points in 3d space one of is the forward direction and the other one is the position of the player so now we can basically calculate the angles off of these so let's save these in a variable called angle and to do this we simply type vector 3 dot angle and this unity function gives us the angle in degrees and of course we need to set these two values in here the first position and the second one alright perfect now let's check if our angle is off or not so if our angle is smaller than 10 degrees then we're basically inside 10 degrees of separation from our player so right now we're getting hit so we could do a print and say hit and if that's not the case else we can print we're safe let's test our script and see if our theory is correct we're safe and we're being hit. I'm walking out of his angle, we're safe, and we're being hit. Perfect. So that works great. Pretty cool. Now of course we need to subtract the health over time. So to do this let's create another function and call this do damage. And of course we don't type the do damage if we're safe only when we're hit. Let's get rid of these print statements so that our console window is not clogged up and then of course let's create that new function do damage and inside this function we need to talk to the health variable and subtract health now the health was created in this player script so to access the static variable from the player script we need to type player dot health and now we can subtract minus equals one and it subtracts one from the health okay so we got that covered but look at what happens right now if I uh, run through the game you will notice that I will die very very quickly because the do damage is triggered every frame that were inside the view of the turret and so every frame is very fast countdown and you will notice that I'll die very very quickly I'm safe I'm hit and as you can see on the GUI we're already dead. Now that's of course way too fast so we need to change that. To do this let's keep track of time. Let's uh, define a variable outside of this function and call this variable damage timer and set it to 0, 0.0. It turns it into a float variable. Okay and I'm defining it outside of the function because the function is being called a couple times so we need to keep track of time outside of the function and this will help us so let's see if we get to this function the very first time damage timer is still set to zero so if 
damage timer equals 0, 0.0, then we need to set damage timer to the current time, which is time dot time. All right. So and then it keeps on going and we need to subtract the health and then it comes in here again and now we have kept track of time so we need to uh, see if we are going to allow it to subtract health again that quickly so to do this let's add another if statement and inside the if statement let's check if time dot time is smaller than our damage timer plus for example half a second now let's add some brackets around these as well so if our damage timer plus half a second is bigger than our time that time then we need to basically return out of this function because we have no business here it's been only half a second or less than half a second if it is we actually will so let's add the else statement if it has been half a second then we subtract the health from our player and we can uh, print that to the screen so that we have a little bit more of a visual overview player dot health and then of course we need to reset our timer damage timer equals time dot time so that when it comes around the next time it is resetting and it's going to wait another half a second okay let's save this see what happens now if I just stand here and have myself get shot and as you can see it's counting down still pretty fast but of course it's reasonable when a turret like this is unloading his guns at you okay so perfect we have our first ability to take health down and basically die of course we need another game over screen that will be uh, for the next part.